My music of the month is the Ratatouille soundtrack by Michael Giancino. For a long time, I wanted this soundtrack to be on vinyl, and I was always a bit baffled as to why Disney did not release it in that format as they have with previous films. Thankfully, Disney released a special edition vinyl set in 2017 to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of the film, and my dear, sweet brother saw that and bought it for me and gave it to me as a gift. I wish you bluebirds in the spring to give your heart a song to sing. Since the Ratatouille soundtrack was my music choice of the month, I thought it would only be fitting if Ratatouille was my film of the month as well. The title Ratatouille is a play on words because the film is about a rat named Remy who wants to become a professional French chef and one of the dishes he prepares is a dish called Ratatouille. This film is one of my favorites, and it was directed by one of my favorite directors, Brad Bird. To say that Ratatouille is special would be an understatement. The combination of a fantastic story with beautiful animation, the lightings and the color are fantastic, paired together with a great soundtrack really created a special atmosphere that very few modern movies possess and I believe that Ratatouille should be considered a modern classic. But more than this I wish you love And in July a lemonade To cool you in some leafy glade I wish you health and more than wealth. I wish you love. My book of the month is The Invisible Man, written by H.G. Wells and published in 1897. I was already a little familiar with the character The Invisible Man because I had seen the 1933 film which was inspired by the book. I was surprised to find that the book and the film are very different. The plot is almost completely different. The book follows a brilliant English scientist named Dr. Griffin. During his study of radiation and refraction of light, he uncovers the secret of invisibility. He tests his theory on himself and indeed succeeds in making himself completely invisible. The original story in the book is much darker than in the 1933 film. In the film, Dr. Griffin has some slight redeemable qualities and the effects of the experiment cause him to lose his sanity. In the book, however, Dr. Griffin has no redeemable qualities, he is completely without a conscience from the start, and is rather psychopathic even before the experiment takes place. I wish you shelter from the storm, a cozy fire. My beauty item of the month is a Revlon nail polish number 125 in the shade Blushing. Blushing is a delightful shade of pink with a hint of sparkle to it. It is a perfect shade for these summer months and is very reminiscent of polishes worn in the 1950s and early 1960s. But most of all, when snowflakes fall, I 
wish you love. My home decor item of the month is this very lovely plain pink teapot. I wish you shelter from a storm, a cozy fire to keep you warm. But most of all, when snowflakes fall, I wish you love.